Okay, we're going to talk now about one of my favorite subjects, and that is harmonics. It's a beautiful sound, and most instruments, probably with the exception of the lagophone, uh, have a harmonic. And uh, the guitar has many, uh, and uh, some people call them chimes, uh, particularly like a banjo player's. But then you would expect that of banjo players, wouldn't you? So um, um, I'll just show you some of the, uh, the open harmonics that are on the guitar. Every instrument has a harmonic up the octave, so up the octave is 12 frets up uh, uh, for those university students. And um, uh, I'll just play them here for you. They're the, they're the harmonics there. And on the 7th fret, on the 5th fret, Um, and I use a combination of, of some of those notes together, like, like this. Don't like going out of tune, but see, that's just one of those things. Uh, okay, th th there's another sound that, that I make which uh, I get asked about a lot and it's this one. And that's a combination of harmonics and open notes. Uh, some people call it false harmonics. Uh, that's, not, that's not true, it's, uh, it's real harmonics. But, but every second note is an open note. Is, is just a normal note. It's just the way it's played. Now I'm going to do this uh, for you using a plectrum because a lot of people use plectrums, not a lot. Not, the majority of people don't play with a thumb pick, but I, I, I will do them for you with a thumb pick in, in a second. However, <coughs> this is how to play them um, using the plectrum. So we hold the plectrum between the second finger and the thumb and we, we uh, play the harmonic um, up the octave with the finger like that, plucking the string with, with the plectrum like so. Okay, so now to, to make these long sort of, um, uh, again, cascading, waterfalling harmonic sounds, we, we play a harmonic, open note, harmonic, open note, harmonic, open note, harmonic. And if I sped that up just a tiny bit, it would sound like this. Isn't that sweet? And then you, 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 can, you can go backwards and forwards. So if I start here. Up and down. Then I can, I can um, make other shapes. Like for instance, let's take a D9 shape. Like that and go up and down it in exactly the same manner. Starting on the sixth string, then going to the fourth, fifth, third, fourth, first, third. So if I sped that up, it would sound like this. And again. Okay. Now, one of the, uh, the keys to making this sound good is to get the harmonic to sound as close to the open note as possible and vice versa. Um, so you let the notes ring into one another and you can't do this too hard because it doesn't work. So you've got to do it nice and softly. To, to give you the dynamics there. So I'll just do that again for you. And you can also make it a bit longer if you wanted by playing the first three notes open, then switching to the harmonic. So that would sound like this. Now we can also do hammer ons and pull offs so you can get. See, I did the hammer on there. There's another one that I do um, in a song called Up From Down Under, which I'll play for you in a moment, um, where I play a triplet like this. And it 
it's very harp-like. So, um, what I'm doing there is I'm playing the harmonic, open note, and the third note is there. So it's like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then I just play it in a triplet. One, two, three, one, two. And then I can... With the thumb pick, it's it's a little bit easier, in fact, and you can get it a little bit cleaner, I think. That's how to use uh, and how to do those those harmonics. Uh, I'm going to play up from down under for you in a second, and uh, I'd like you to watch very closely how I put the harmonics uh, into the song as well as at the end. On the record, I I basically play the melody. But um, I have developed a way of playing it as a solo piece, which uh, incorporates the harmonics as well as. Uh, playing the tune within the chords, so if you watch carefully you'll, you'll pick it up. Here we go. Well, I hope that clears up a few of the mysteries for you about harmonics. Uh, I just want to show you a couple of little things now before I play Michelle for you. Um, I found that if, if, I, uh, if I play a harmonic um, within a chord and, and uh, play the rest of the chord with my finger, like so, If I do that, um, especially on the electric guitar with like a, a chorus effect or, or a, a vibrato, I can actually get 
a real piano sound, an electric piano sound from the guitar. So it's maybe a very interesting one for you to try on your electric guitar. So sort of playing clusters like this. And they're sort of some of the single line harmony things that I, I do as well. You can be uh, uh, playing a song and take a solo and maybe in the middle of it you might want to sort of quote yourself uh, or, or do an answering thing um, in, in, the, in harmonic or shay. Like, so, say if you're playing... There's a few little ideas there for you. You may you may want to break into a harmonic thing or do a little uh, a little chordal cluster type thing. There, there, there's some nice little things there that uh, you can try yourself. Well, now I'd like to play uh, Michelle for you, and uh, this is pretty much how I arranged it many years ago uh, from my Up From Down Under album. And, uh, this this arrangement involves uh, using the uh, cluster type harmonics as well as the single line harmonics, as well as the open, uh, open harmonics as well. All within the um, structure of the song, so here you go. 